President Joe Biden signs an executive order imposing new rules for AI. YouTube steps up its anti-ad blocker efforts. Google launches an image fact checker and Meta's chief AI scientist says AI won't wipe out all of humanity. So that's comforting. Welcome back to Pathmonk News. Grab yourself a coffee and sit down for this week's fat shot of AI and digital marketing news. First up, we got Joe Biden, who has just signed an executive order aiming to safeguard against threats posed by artificial intelligence. It aims to prevent AI misuse, regulate AI product safety, and establish industry standards. Safety tests, known as red teaming, must precede new product releases with government intervention if concerns arise under the Defense Production Act. Watermarks for AI-enabled products and safeguards for AI-driven biotechnology are also proposed in the standards. While these guidelines are not mandates, the federal government will use its research funding leverage for compliance. However, the order lacks an enforcement mechanism leading to potential challenges, says Sarah Kreps, a government professor at Cornell University. And over to YouTube now as they've taken additional steps to combat ad blockers. YouTube has been alerting users that they won't be able to view YouTube clips via the web app unless they disable their ad blocker or add YouTube to their allow list. YouTube initially launched this new process in limited testing back in June, but in recent weeks, more users have reported encountering its new pop-up notification. YouTube's Christopher Lawton said, ads support a diverse ecosystem of creators globally and allow billions to access their favorite content on YouTube. YouTube also has its own ad-free premium option, so users can already avoid ads in the app for a price without using ad blocking tools. Are you willing to pay for that? Let us know. And TikTok has announced a new integration with Salesforce Marketing Cloud, which will enable TikTok advertisers to easily transfer their leads generated by their marketing campaigns directly to Salesforce, making it easier to action relevant data and insights. That effectively will bring more TikTok insights directly into your CRM, which will streamline the process of managing and maximizing your TikTok ad campaigns. As per TikTok, TikTok's new integration for Salesforce Marketing Cloud is designed to be user-friendly and requires no coding skills. Marketing teams will be able to set it up in a matter of minutes, allowing them to focus on what really matters, capturing, nurturing, and converting leads. That was a quote, by the way. And over to Instagram now, as it's expanding its Instagram and Reels APIs to enable more posting capabilities through third-party apps. So this includes things like integrating the collaborative posting features into the API, allowing users to publish collaborative posts through third-party social media management apps. Instagram introduced collaborative posts recently, allowing users to add images and videos to carousel posts. Now you'll be able to create these within third-party apps too, expanding your posting options. Instagram's also adding organic Reels insights into the API, which will provide more data for your content planning. And Meta's also updating the Facebook Video API with the new copyright protection element. Speaking of which, Meta reported robust Q3 earnings with a significant increase in users and its best ever quarterly revenue. Facebook gained 19 million monthly active users, reaching a total of 3.049 billion users. They've apparently lost users in Europe, but gained quite a few in the Asian Pacific. And Yan Lee Kuhn, a chief AI scientist at Meta, said labeling the existential risk of AI is premature and it's preposterous that AI might kill off humanity. He also claimed that current AI models are not as capable as some claim, saying that they don't understand how the world works and cannot plan or reason. According to Lee Kuhn, he expects that AI will eventually help manage our everyday lives, saying that everyone's interaction with the digital world will be mediated by AI systems. Wonder how Joe Biden's gonna take that one. This has been Pathmong News. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.